Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and I'm bringing you another Beyblade Burst Rise unboxing and review. This time I have a Hypersphere Dual Pack. We have Left Astros A5 and Erase Devolos D5. So the second half of Venom Devolos and the second half of Right Artemis. All right, so here we have the front of the packaging. Really lovely graphic on the top. We got the two Beyblades here. On the back, we have all the stats for each Beyblades. So, Erase Devolos D5. It's a left spinning Beyblade. It's a balance type. The disc is D75 and the performance tip is TH18, which is actually different from the very first bullet. So this is bullet two. Here we have the hypersphere meter. We've got two and four. Here on the right we have I'm not really right, but it's left Astros A5. This is a defense type, also a left spinning Beyblade. And here is the disc, it's D69, and the performance tip is TH04. And we kind of got the same stats here for the Hypersphere. So kind of funny that we have two left spinning Beyblades in this dual pack. All right, let's get these Beyblade open. And here we have the two Beyblades. Let's start off with Erase Devolos. So this is the left spinning version of Devolos. It's got five points of attack, really steep slopes on the wings, although it's not as good as Zone Luminor, in my opinion, because there's just, there's just too many of the wings. If there's less, then there would be a higher chance of catching onto those slopes and causing an upper attack. And here we have the GT chip, which is Pretty much the same design from Venom Devolos, but this is a left spinning GT chip. So let's pop that out and give you guys the code. So go ahead and scan that and you'll get it in the Beyblade Burst app. All right, so I do have Venom Devolos right here, just for a comparison so we can look at the GT chip and see how they are different. So a little bit of difference in the paint job, just a teeny tiny bit but not by much. You could kind of tell um, this would be, I mean, it could be just like my paint is different. Um, there's less red here. There's a little bit more red on the right spinning one. But if you look on the underside, you can see where the thicker parts are on the GT chip. So this would be left and then this would be right because it's facing, it's on these two sides here. And is the left GT chip compatible with the right one? It's not, unfortunately, so it does not fit in the hole for the right spinning layer. This is only compatible with left spinning layers. Next up we have the disc Vanguard, which is the same from Venom Devolo, so don't really need to go into that. But this one is different, so this is Bullet 2. And then here is Bullet from Venom Devolos. You can see it's more of a cone shape. This one has just kind of like nothing. <laughs> but yeah, it's got a really good shape to it. Might be competitive against like Linear Dash H. Everyone says that Linear Dash H is, uh, is pretty good, but we'll see. We'll see how this performs. Yeah, so there are two versions of Bullet, which is really nice. Next up, we have Left Astros. Here is the energy layer. So they brought this over from Slingshock. And they didn't really turn the layer into a hypersphere version, but they kind of just brought it over and uh, redid it. But you can still change out the, um, the middle part here. I don't remember what it's called, but um, the spin the spin direction. So this does split apart and you can combine this with uh, Artemis. So let's demonstrate that. So on the back here, well first of all here's the code for those who want the code. On the back here you could use this little piece of the launcher, or I'm sorry, the ripcord. You kind of just slot it in and turn and this should pop out. So this is what determines the spin direction. This is left spin. And then you could just split this apart and then combine it with right Artemis, um, which I haven't unboxed yet, so I'll have to do that in a future video. So yeah, that's neat. At least they kept that gimmick with this. And then, yeah, just kind of slide it back in, put the middle piece back in, and you 
use the rip cord again to lock it in place and there you go all right and then for the disc we have blitz once again we've seen this before and it's four stars neat and then we saw this just recently again we have another spyro dash h which came with zone lunar we just have a different version or a different color of it all right let's see how erase devolos fits together no nah, that's okay that kind of just has the same feel as zone lunar but what about left astros that's really loose <laughs> That's extremely loose. I don't know if it's because this, because of the um, the chip, I guess, in the middle, or if it's the driver. But that, yeah, that is a really, really loose, loose fit. And I th yeah, I think that's pretty neat that we do have two left spinning Beyblades in one package. Now it's time for a comparison. I'm just gonna compare the layers. So here we have. Takara Tomy erase and then Hasbro right here so pretty much the same colors of course the GT chip on Diabolos is different the whole weight comes with it it doesn't it's not the case for the Hasbro version unfortunately and this is compatible with left and right and this is just by itself all right so let's just uh, do a weight test so we have Hasbro Erase Devolos 12.72. That's pretty heavy for Hasbro. And then Takara Tomy 24.37. And next, let's compare Left Astros to Left Apollon or Apollos, whatever you want to call it. So here we have the Hasbro version and then the Takara Tomy version. You can still split this apart, although I don't think you could use this. I just tend to use oh where is it <laughs> i use this instead so this tool it's because it's just easier to get in so you split that same same stick so put that back in and i don't think you could actually no i never tried that i never tried putting the hasbro layer with the takara tomi one so let's try that nope no, I think the slots are different. Yeah, it doesn't want to fit. Oh well, at least I tried and maybe answered some of your your curious thoughts about that. All right, let's weigh them. So Hasbro, 11.84. Takara Tomy with actual metal, 20.06. All right, now it's time for a spin test and test battle. Spin test time. Let's start off with Erase Devolos. And I do have Venom Devolos with the first bullet driver. So we'll do a comparison between the two. So first bullet two, three, two, one, let it. All right, so not much movement there. Little bit wobbly. Let's try do a much harder launch. All right, there we go. Reached up the wall just a little bit. All right, so let's remember that comparison. I'll remember that spin and compare it to the right spinning version with the first bullet driver. Three, two, one, let it. Ah, okay, I think I see what the difference is. All right, so because it has this little outer part here, it is scraping against the vertical wall. And it almost seems like it's kind of preventing it from getting a little bit higher. Here is bullet driver two. So I do think that the second bullet driver is better balanced than this one. I feel like it's, this will lose a lot more stamina because it has that, that little ridge right there, that little drop off. 
so it's gonna scrape against the wall as opposed to this where it'll just kind of climb up and drop, drop back down. All right, moving on, we have left Astros. Astro, three, two, one, let it. Whoa, whoa, that really got up into the brink for a long time. So kind of, of course, it's got the same performance tip as Lunor, so pretty aggressive and it did climb up into the brink pretty, uh, pretty frequently. All right, test battle time. Three, two, one, let it. Oh, nice hit from Erase to Volos. Oh, that was no contest. Three, two, one, let it. Oh, off of the brink. Oh, I can. Oh, I was gonna say I could feel those hits in my heart. That was a really, really strong hit, resulting in a burst. That was awesome. I really like this driver. I think it seems pretty stable, and it seems like it has a lot of stamina as well. All right, let's let's put this poor guy back together. <laughs> Okay, so that is it for my unboxing and review. Let me know what you think about these two Beyblades. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more. See you soon.